Hello. I'm Tim Rogers. And I am Jason Schreier. And you are. AKA Nihongo Master. (laughs) Nihongo Master. (laughs) Today we are uh, embarking on a journey, as it were. A journey of fixing the stream for an hour. Yeah. um, It turns out that sometimes it's hard to get stuff to do stuff, especially when you're relying on a Microsoft product. However, that's not the conversation topic today. Today, as everyone can clearly see on the left side of their screen, Nihongo wo benkyo shimashou ka? Shall we study Japanese? And the answer is yes. So we have got a game. I have I have one challenge for you right at the beginning of the game. So yes. let's get started. Okay. So we're playing on an Xbox controller, which is unusual for a Super Nintendo game. So how do I erase? Yeah, it's a. Uh, do I have to do blanks? Is that how it? No. It's it's a little surreal. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So here's okay. what I want you to do. Here's Find what I want you name. to do. I want you to write the name Chrono okay. in Hiragana. Oh, in Hiragana. Yeah. Okay. This is the very first challenge because it's it's spelled in katakana. Cause okay. So ku. So we should explain. Well, let's get through this and then we'll explain what we're actually doing. Yeah. And what this series is all about. So ku. Um. Where is Ro? I love Japanese alphabetical order. It's just uh, random. Is it just random? Well, you you learn it after several years. sashi So I'm also I'm used to looking uh, at Japanese letters like on a computer screen. So I'm not used to this like scribbled, like <laughs> semi pixelated version. Oh yeah, yeah. There's uh, none of that smooth, smoothed out, delicious font. Am I crazier? I just can't find row. You're not. You're so. They've done a thing that's kind of annoying that they do in these text entry fields. Uh-huh. They they split it up. So you're uh you, you seem to be looking line by line, but what if I told you there's two sorts of characters per line? Oh, did I m- Yeah, I'm Go back up. Go back up. Look over uh, to the right. Uh-huh. At the oh. Ba- <laughs> oh, man. Isn't that wild? Yeah, that fucked so, with me. Okay. Do you, do you know what that little katakana is there up on the top row? Do you know what that one yes. is? Yes, goo, goo. That's vu. Vu. Okay, so ku. You've got kudo. Yeah, and then no. Where's the no? Um. Okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna ask you to just go back and spell his name again in in katakana, oh, and then okay. we're done. Then, because okay. I want we're gonna leave all the names in katakana uh-huh. in this game, uh-huh. because because you just have to get used to seeing katakanas okay. and, and dealing with them. Um, where's the ku? You're back so up wait, in the. Is, ka- is the katakana all on the bottom? It's all down in the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Um, in case is my does... mic okay? Someone, someone in the chat says that my mic is quiet. Is it? Yeah, I don't know. I can't tell. I. It might just be that. So uh, quiet. Yeah. It might just be that I'm yelling and you're <laughs> is it not. Because you're you're yelling. Yeah, your voice is louder. Um, yeah, I just uh, I I breathe on this thing. Uh, Very first is challenge. This coup? No. 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 <laughs> oh, this is exciting. So, in case anyone, everybody doesn't know. Uh, yeah, my katakana, my hiragana is better than my katakana. Yeah, there's there's two alphabets in Japanese. There's hiragana and katakana. There are apps you can get to learn them. I would recommend getting. I I didn't use an app. I learned it by just. You know, the, the old meat tenderizer method. I just slammed my head into a book until I got them. Because mm. we didn't have apps back then. Mm. So I just I just had to learn them. Back in your time. Yeah, it was terrible. My time. My deadly time when you could barely go outside without being pursued by wolves. There it is. Uh, oh, is cool. I, just, I, shouldn't have, I shouldn't have shouted no, with was... such a, such excitement. Um, I should have known that because they're all grouped by ka, ke, ki, ku, ke, ko. Kaki Kukeko. Um, Gagi ku, and then, Okay, so Ro. I'm looking for Ro. Yeah, you're looking for the old Ro. Uh, Remember where it was on the on the Hiragana here. page. Yeah. It's, uh, no, that's not there. It's, um. You'll notice that uh, Hiragana or Katakana also has these little tiny letters down at the bottom for the tiny vowels. Uh, you're, this is back up on the Hiragana on, page. Okay, so it's got to be here. There's a couple of Katakanas crammed into the uh, the Hiragana page. Because there's just too many. Uh, it's one of these, right? Which one is this? This one. It's that uh, you. You almost had it. This one. Imagine you're saying roll. Roll. Imagine roll. the shape of human lips while they're roll. saying roll. Roll. 
Oops. Fuck. Oh, <laughs> you pressed the American confirm button. Yeah, so I'm I'm gonna have to get used to playing on uh this thing. So this is great. Ooh. So so I I told Jason Schreier he has to play. Is that right? That's it. That's it. I told him he has to be the one to play because everyone needs to experience the thrill of playing through a Japanese RPG in Japanese uh -huh. for the first time. So let's yeah, let's start this let's start this off with an intro to the series because uh, we have not yet explained what we are actually doing. That's good. We, we call that a cold <laughs> open. Yeah, that was, that was a flashback. That was our we should do an in media res where we just cut to like 40 hours in and I'm like speaking fluent Japanese. Yeah, and then fluent. We jump back to the beginning. Fluent okay, Japanese. So what the heck is happening here? Here is what the heck is happening. Um, I am you are teaching this is Tim teaches Jason and everybody else. Japanese and what we are doing is we are going to play through Chrono Trigger in Japanese and you are going to translate and I'm going to try to learn a thing or two so my Japanese is just about like like but I know so I know the hiragana I know most of the katakana um, I've studied like a little bit of grammar but I basically don't know any Japanese so this is going to be Tim teaching me how to speak and read Japanese um, so I should preface this by saying there are three different types of writing styles in Japanese, hiragana and katakana. I mentioned those are kind of like the basic building blocks of the alphabet, the Japanese alphabet. And then there are kanji, which are picture characters, Chinese picture characters, which uh, represent words. And so kanji what are what make Japanese really difficult to read because you have to know uh, thousands of them in order to read fluently. So that's what Tim is going to help out with. Oh, yeah. So why don't we start with that? I know so thousands of them, I should, unfortunately. I should warn people i should warn you all that this is going to be a very slow oh extremely slow because we're going to read every line and just like tim so is going to be in case in case we missed the first few lines the very first line was chrono followed by six dots mm -hmm. then chrono with an exclamation point and finally we have can chrono, you read that yeah chrono ta taro taru tara tara, tara. Chrono, chrono tara chrono tara chrono tara tara, tara. Tara, you got that little glottal sound. Uh, Chrono tara. tara. You add a tara after someone's name, and what that does is makes it sort of a momish way of uh, rousing someone. So it's uh, so. How would you translate this in English? I Chrono, would say, sweetie. Chrono, honey. Yeah. Sleepyhead. There we go. Is this Chrono. a sleepyhead line, or is that coming? Yeah. Um. Well, Wake she's up, pretty much sleepyhead. I think. Uh, <laughs> That's my mom voice. I'm never going to do that again for the rest of my life. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so let's break this down. Itsumade, itsumade ne, ne de rono. Tim got up to check something, so I'll just wait for him to come back to his microphone. So, itsumade ne te no. What does that mean? Do you know what itsu means? No. Oh, really? Okay, okay, hold on. So, okay, first of all, can you read her name? Um... Zoo, zoo, no, zoo, zoom, no, I don't. No, okay, so the the zoo, zoo kanji zoo, is zoo. like wickedly similar to the shi g or the oh, katakana. Oh yeah, g, okay, g. It's like wickedly similar. So her g. name is. Gina, no. Gina. I Gina. Uh, okay. Her name is. Gina. I don't know the katakana cold. I know the hiragana better than the katakana. Is that the, uh, is that the actual name of Chrono's mom, Gina? Gina? I thought it was Sheena. Sheena. Well, maybe, it's Gina. Maybe they missed the the little two dashes here. And they might have had eye she... strain and missed it. Yeah. Who translated Chrono Trigger? Do you know? It was Woolsey. It Woolsey. Was it Woolsey? Yeah. Uh, big Ted. Yeah. I like Ted. Ted, Go if you're watching. Ted. So okay. So Itsumade, Itsumade re ne ne te rono. Itsumade ne te runo. So Itsu means when. Uh huh. Made oh, means. Oh, I knew that. Okay, Made. What does Made mean? Don't know. It means uh, until. So there's okay. there's the until words when. there's the words kara and made. Kara oh. means from. Made means itsu kara itsu made means from when till when. Okay. So itsu made just means until when. Neteru is the present progressive form of the verb neru, which means sleep. Sleep. Yeah. So, so until when are you gonna sleep? Until when are you sleeping? Okay. Is uh, if we want to break it down with the cold etymology here, and then the no is. Uh, it's just again, it's just like a momish way of asking a question. Right. Well, no in Japanese is like of, like a possessive particle, right? So, mm -hmm. so can but, you put that at the end of sentences to be like of of something like 
like a possessive question. Like if you're like if if you see a car uh-huh. and you're like, I don't know whose car is this. There's a car parked here. You go, Donald. Yeah. And you point at the car like, whose car is this? Uh-huh. Okay, Donald. So. But uh, but this no is just momish. It's just the way like a mom would uh it. would say it. So the next word, e kagen, okinasai. E kagen means uh good kagen. So <laughs> <laughs> good old kagen. It's a uh, it's a very I, I mentioned this in a judgment video that I did. I said it's a very difficult phrase to translate because it's extremely versatile. But uh-huh. it means like, like come on and ikage ni shiroyo just means like, come on, man. So it's like ikage okay. okinasai. So come on, yeah. It's like come on and wake up. Got it. But the ikage said in a soft, gentle, momish way, I would translate it as wake up, sleepyhead. And so that kanji <laughs> is is like part of what does that kanji mean? That kanji uh, okiru is the the kanji for wake up. Okay, got it. God, it's those pixels are hard to read. Yeah, it's a little. Yeah, the font is uh is a little strange. Oh, people okay. are saying I'm a little bit quiet. Um, he's we, just like, got, he's yeah. just got to yell. Your microphone's turned up to I max. I should yell. Is this better? Wow. Okay. <laughs> ah ah. Ri rio no. Ri ri no. Oh no. Right? Is that an O? Uh, I can't ri, tell. It's super ri, ri, ne, ri ne. Ri ne. Ri ne. O. Ri ne no. And then kanji. I can't. Kanji. Read. Kanji. Uh, <laughs> I'll just Susan. say kanji as I'm reading. Yeah, you kanji can. You can say. You can say kanji. <laughs> if only maybe next time we will have a. Uh, some sort of a dictionary on the screen. Yes, 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 yes. Next time, so for like further installments in this series, we will hopefully have an overlay with the English script so people can see the comparisons into the English uh, language. Sort I think of it's like gonna a be Final wild. Fantasy VII translation that you did where you compared both versions. Anyway, so... Um, that that kanji is, uh, is kane, which means bell. Okay. Rine no kane ga. Kane ga, okay. Anna ni... Wow, this is a uh, soul. Um, uh, kimochi means g- feels good. Uh-huh. So kimochi. Yeah, well, so I rec- I recognize that kanji from Genki, that first uh, kanji. So oh, that's that's like key. Very important kanji. Uh, uh-huh. Chi in Chinese, uh, in Mandarin. If anybody needs to know that. Uh-huh. Genki, um, of course, means health. <laughs> we will not like be teaching Mandarin Chinese. Uh, I could. I am qualified for that as well. Uh-huh. Um, so kimochi, kimochi just means like feeling. Like okay. there, there's a Zazen Boys song called Kimochi. If you want to know about kimochi, kimochi, is is the feeling, as uh, Mukai Shutoku says. Uh, okay. In in English, for some reason, when introducing that song. Um, and kimochi e means feels good, and then e I don't know if you knew this e is the uh, adjective for good. Uh, e, e can also yeah. be, can also yeah. be pronounced yoi, but um, it's e. It's two two e's. Right? Yeah, it's yeah. two. It's two e. Uh huh. But it can also be pronounced yoi. Yoi. So if you put a sa, if you replace isn't the, that a conjugated version? Yoi is like the a different version, right? It's a uh, based on the grammar. It, it just it depends on uh, the flow of the sentence, the age of the speaker, the uh, the wildness of one's feeling. Got you can it. Just you can just like fluctuate <laughs> between e and yoi. If you're feeling wildly good. If you're feeling wildly good, you might want to say it differently. So if you change the e at the end of an adjective, adjectives uh-huh. that end in e, uh, the adjective good is two e's. Uh, so it ends in an e and it starts in an e. That's an extreme uh, uh, outlier. Extreme. <laughs> Extreme. So if you change the E at the end of an adjective to a sa, uh-huh. that makes it like ness. Like, uh, like, uh, sugoi means wow, awesome. incredible, right? Yeah. Awesome. So if you say sugosa, that means instead of sugoi, you say sugosa. Uh-huh. That means awesomeness. Awesomeness. Okay, Kono game it. no sugosa ga sugoi. This game's awesomeness is awesome. Okay. So kimochi yosa, yosa means goodness of feeling. But if you put a so at the end of a sa, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> if you put a so at the end of a sa, uh-huh. it turns it into a uh, uh, sort of an adverb, adverbial style, an okay. adverbal they would call it. So yosa so means goodly. Okay, so it's referring to the next verb. With with coming. goodness. Yeah, with goodness. So, yosasou ni utatteru. So, ah, Rine's bell is singing with such goodness of feeling. Uh-huh. That's my Who's extreme Rine? literal. Who's Rine? 
Lean, lean it. Oh, is I it believe is lean. lean. It's lean. Okay. In English, right? L e e n e. Okay. Right. Someone in the chat has asked, do you think they'll get to the fair in this episode? <laughs> oh, probably not. <laughs> probably not. Okay, let's uh, see. So, uh, go, go, say you, say you, be. Yeah. Go say you, be. Go say. Do say. Do say you, be. Uh, ko, ko, fu, ko, fu, non, fun, shi, de, fun, shi, te. Mm hmm. Netsu ke na ka. I feel like I'm a child reading. That's good. It's good. This is good though. Ka tan tan de shi shi you shi you shi you. De sho de sho de sho de sho. That's that's a very momish way of ending a sentence. De sho. Okay. Do se you be kofun shite netsu ke na ka tan de sho, which is uh do se uh is do se is very very complex. It's not complex. It's it's a versatile word. It's like a versatile sentence beginner. Like, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Uh, either way, any way, no matter what, uh -huh. somehow, if I recall, it's it's, it's like very flexible. So uh -huh. it's it's one you just have to see hundreds of times. And this is consider this the first one. Okay. Go say yube. Yube means is an one way of saying nighttime, evening, last night. Kofun, kofun suru, kofun shite. Kofun means like be excited. Be just like riled up, uh -huh. right? So it's like last night you were riled up. Last yeah, night? rilding, riled upping. Kolfun shte netsuke nakatan desho. So the shte is a, like a like you know what you know what a, a te form of a verb is, right? It's like a it's like a little stunted stem form that yeah, allows and then you to show is like let's let's all do this, right? Like yeah, like, well, like a, a, a short show is uh -huh. different from a long show. Oh, okay. Kolfun shte nakatan desho. Disho, disho, very momish way, very momish way. Uh, -huh. uh, I mean, I, I, you know, I just love her mom dialogue. Disho, so, yeah. Um, so she's saying last night you were so riled up you weren't able to sleep, right? Uh huh. Is basically what she's saying. Huh. Okay. So now she is a... Uh, and then the next sentence has a lot of kanji. Oh, yeah. Wild kanji. Why don't you read the letters you can read around ma, the kanji? <laughs> ma, something, 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 no, o, oh, something, ri, ri, da, ka, ra, kara, but, right, or because, kara is but, or because. Yeah, yeah, kara, kara, what? Mm -hmm. Kara, kara. Matsuri da kara. Something, something, nai, nai kedo. Naikedo. Naikedo. Yeah, muri naikedo. So, naikedo. so she's saying, ma, uh, kenkoku? Kenkoku sennen no omatsuri da kara. Muri naikedo. So, ken, kenkoku. Ken, that first kanji in this, this four kanji block. Uh-huh. Kenkoku sennen. Kenkoku sennen. Kenkoku sennen. So, ken is like a, a kanji for... Uh, uh, it's also tateru. There's, it, it's also the beginning of the verb tateru, which means to build, right? Okay. So ken koku, that kanji for koku. You see what that is? The the one with the border around it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's a box ken with. Koku. Do you know what that kanji inside of that box is? No. Okay, so that's the kanji, the 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 Chinese kanji for uh, it's it's the kanji for king. Okay. Right. Now it's this is a Japanese kanji. It's not a, it's not in Chinese it looks much different. Okay. And they actually don't really use the uh Chinese one except in rare cases in Japanese. So it's like a Japanese simplification. So this is a it means country. So it's like the kanji for king inside of a box. Okay. With like a little dot. Means country. Which uh it's also like the 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 kanji for king with a little So country with a little build, dot build also country, means like jewel. Country, country. Country. So build so this four kanji thing is build country thousand year okay so it's so a millennial millennial yeah so basically that means uh millennial except in english uh i guess oh, big ted translated fair. it as the millennial fair right um because he had very limited text right, space here you so you can't really describe like that it's the country's a thousandth anniversary i guess i guess we don't we context. we don't really have too many millennial countries in the world right, right? like that's true. america well, celebrated its bicentennial in yeah, 1976 yeah it's kind of implied if you say the bicentennial it, that it's like celebrating the country's the founding of the country so so yeah kenkoku means founding so uh -huh. thousandth thousand year founding 
Omatsuri, which means Omatsuri. party. Okay. Omatsuri is also a song by uh it means party by okay. Ishina so, like, Ringo. It could be fair also. Guest vocals by Mukai Shutoku. Uh in case you... <laughs> No, wait, no. Wait, sorry, no. I'm thinking of a different song. Okay. Mukai Shutoku is in a different one. That one's got a it's got Ukigumo in it, if anybody okay. knows Ukigumo. Um so Muni Naikido Muni means impossible. And the phrase do you know the phrase Muri o Shinai? Muri o Shinai de kudasai. Don't do the impossible. Muri o Shinai de means don't do the impossible. Okay. A common way of just telling somebody, uh, chill out. Chill. Yeah, just chill. So Muri nai kido is different from Muri o Shinai. Okay. So Muri nai just means it's not unthinkable or it's not impossible. So. Yeah, this is uh, this is gonna take us a while. Um, Muni Naikido. She's just saying, it's it's just a colloquial, tossed off, expressive way of being like, I guess I can understand. Uh huh. It's not impossible. I guess I can understand. Well, it is the millennial fair after all. I guess I get why you would be so excited you couldn't sleep last night. Right. And now you're sleeping like this. So. She's painting. Keep in mind that you are doing the job. Basically, as we go through this entire script, you'll be doing a tra- full-time translator's employment job, except just on a stream. Oh yeah, on YouTube videos. So yes. Oh, it's totally wild. Yeah, this is. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm actually in the middle of translating a real, uh, full-sized Japanese role-playing game right nice. now. Uh, oh, that's exciting. Uh, that is going to be released officially. It might be announced soon. Uh, everybody, stay tuned. Huh. Um, it's going to be announced soon. Anyway, so. That she's painting a picture with these words that you don't necessarily get in the English, which Got is, it. which is, uh, you couldn't, uh, you're you're sleeping like this, you can't even wake up, and when last night you were Oops. straight up, <gasps> ooh, there you go, get it back to a hundred percent, a hundred percent. Okay, so let's keep going. Yeah, what do we got? An An Marie something. Choshi. Choshi. An Marie Choshi ni something. Notte. Te notte ni notte. An Marie Choshi ni notte. Uh, ha, ha, tsi, ha, chi, ha, tsi, ha, no, that's a she again. Ha, she, ha, she, ha, she, ha, she, you, ha, sha, ha, sha, ha, sha, ha, sha, ha, sha, gi, ha, she, ha, sha, gi, su, gi, uh, run, run, ji, ja, 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 na, na, wa, wa, ja, na, wa, yo. So the, those little that little ya and that little ya in katakana, everybody can see this on that second uh-huh, line. So uh-huh. the third letter and then the they're they're like not small enough. Like see how small the tsu is on the line at the top, the yeah. notte. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. the 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 ya the yayuyo uh, kanjis which or katakana and hiragana which can also be tiny. Those god darn things they uh, they weren't small enough in some of these Super Famicom games. So it's a uh, it it's kind of it's kind of hard to tell at first glance. You'll you'll get used to it. Yeah. But basically, she's saying don't uh, don't. Oh man, choshi ni noru. Choshi means like uh, situation, feeling. So choshi ni noru. Noru means to ride, like to ride a vehicle. Don't ride your feeling too hard, my friend. Basically, which you know we could translate in the momish way. The wayo turns it into a momish thing. Huh. Don't. You know, don't don't get too wacky out there, kid. Don't, yeah, don't <laughs> don't do anything I wouldn't do. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, baby child. <laughs> She's calling him baby child. Baby child. Say. My tiny baby. Sa i kage no kinasai. And then that once again, that's the sleepyhead line. Yeah, the sleepyhead. Okay. So that's what we've learned today: is i kage. I kage. Does she's not actually saying sleepyhead though? No, no, but it's it's a i kage no kinasai. O kinasai. I just, uh, I just did my momish voice again. I'm sorry, everyone. So she's basically saying, uh, she's saying that's a very mommy sort of thing to say. And I mean, mom, a po- mom hyphen Y. Uh-huh. Chrono has awoken. Stretch, Chrono. Stretch. Is it just me or is the cat, is there a different cat in Japanese than there is in the U.S.? Oh, that's actually a very good question. Someone should look this up. Because that cat, like, it looks like a distinctively, like, Japanese cat, right? Like I, I'm very curious because I feel like I don't remember seeing a cat like that. Hold on, I'm gonna I think it's up. the same Is cat. It? Someone says it's the same cat. It could be the same, but it would be funny if they localized the cat as well. Yeah, I guess it's the same cat. Lo- it wouldn't be localization; it would be localization. Oh gosh. Uh, so she says, "Yatto okita no ne." 
You finally woke up. What he, she he woke up like the second she turned her back. Uh-huh. So ne at the end of a sentence is like a right, right? Like, yeah. like a softening mm-hmm. particle, right? But in this in a true momish fashion, okitan no ne, uh she is just uh employing it as a sentence ender which it's like I don't know. If you're a native Japanese speaker and you have a child, uh-huh. you just immediately you just start talking like that. Well, because like it, it makes it softer language, right? It's soft and it's pleasant. Okay. You wouldn't you wouldn't talk like this to anybody else uh-huh. other than your child as a mom. So so I know, I know. I like oh, every time I interview a Japanese developer at E3, I I, they just say I know every five seconds, like I know, I know, know. something something I know. Uh, ano osanana osanana oh yeah oh one of my favorite words osanana osanana ji ji mi no something something okay so osanana ji mi means your childhood friend i had a whole like three minutes in an early episode of my monstrous and horrific final fantasy translation series (laughs) everyone should watch that by the way it might help with what we're going to be doing here thanks for the endorsement i highly recommend it uh, so yeah, also Nanajimi means like childhood friend. She goes so so, ano, right? So ano is just a hesitation sound, right? Which it's, it's funny. like an uh or a like, right? In yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it it is also literally the word for that, that. yeah, like that one over there. Ano. Kono sa, kono sono ano. Kono sono ano. Kono kore, this kore sono. Sore ano are. Yeah, kore sore are kono sono ano. Kono is this that I have. Uh-huh. Sono is that that you have. And ano is that that neither of us has. So first person, second person, third person. So it's nice to have and very convenient. But it's also used as like a conjuring word for like a hesitation. Is that why they put the commas there? To like to make it clear that this is a hesitation? So those ano? those commas are very manga-esque um, to just let you know, yeah, that there's like a little... So, so, ano, osananajimi no... Osananajimi no... Osananajimi no hatsumezuki na ko... Hatsume means invention. Uh-huh. And Zuki is a conjugate, uh, not a conjugation, but a, a, a more more phemological transformation of a Suki, ski, ski, yeah. which, which means, means likable. Which means like. like. Yeah, so Hatsume, hatsume yeah. Suki, uh, when it's taken as one word, is Hatsume Zuki, which means Hatsume person who likes. Uh, inv- or Hatsume means invention. So Hatsume okay. Zuki means invention liking. Invention liker. Invention like Hatsume Zuki na and then na is not can. I don't want to guarantee. I don't want to give you a guarantee, but take my word for it. It can turn pretty much anything into an adjective. Okay. Right. So it's the adjectivizer. So Hatsume Zuki na is adjective form of invention liker. Okay. So invention liking and then cult is just usually means girl. Okay, so this is saying, so the possessive, so it's saying your childhood friend of the invention liker girl. Your childhood friend of the invention liker girl is just a way of saying that friend of yours who loves inventions right. and is a girl. Right, 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 right. Right, okay. and, and what is... What's so-so? So, so. So, so. Oh, oh, basically. Oh, oh, okay. oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, like that, uh, that, that friend of yours who likes inventions. That childhood friend of yours who likes, uh, invents stuff. Cool. I don't... Okay. The little dot there. Oh, man, this is... I, I've never played this game in Japanese. I'm just confessing oh, right man. now. Oh, man. Oh, that's so, be an experience for you. But I have played every Dragon Quest in Japanese. Uh-huh. And wow, this is so clearly Yuji Hori's writing. I love it. Yuji Hori wrote uh, like 88% of this game. Uh-huh. He didn't write the... Uh, Masato Kato, the writer of Xenogears, wrote all of the Kingdom of Zeal stuff. Interesting. And... Like it was, they did it in sort of like a black box fashion. Like Yuji Hori had him on the side, and he told him what happens, and then he told him to fill it in. So they did not like compare notes. They uh-huh. did it in this like neat. I don't know if it's eighty-eight percent of the game. Don't quote me on that. He wrote <laughs> he wrote a large portion of the game. So do, the little do is just very manga esque. It's just like that's a katakana do before wasure chatta. Uh-huh. So wasure chatta. So why is it in katakana at the beginning? Because it's like a little sound effect. Okay. Do wasure chatta. Do do wasure chatta. I totally forgot. Like wasure chatta. Do wasure. Do wasure means like a big forget. Big forget. And then ara is like a momish, well, matureish, womanish, uh big sisterish, ladyish way of saying, "Oh." Oh. Ah. I totally forgot. Uh-huh. 
なんて言ったっけあの子 What? I totally forgot what's her name? What's her name? And then oh, the... sweetie, I totally forgot your friend's name. No call. Basically, she's saying. So there you go. Okay. And it's. Ruka. So it's. Ruka. 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 So Luca is Italian, in case it's not fully clear to everyone. Really? Lu- So it's Or, supposed I, I, to be like Luca, like Luca Brazzi sleeps with the fishes. Yeah, she's sleeping with the fishes. Wow. Oh, I was going to make you spell her name in uh, here again and then spell it back. <laughs> no, you got I off the hook this it. time. So. 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 Ruka. So as someone so, points so out. So means O. Oh. So means O. Uh, oh. Someone pointed out in the chat that she said, I made a big forget. I made a big forget. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what she said. Okay, I so made a the big forget. I made a the big forget. So Ruka. Oh, we've got somebody in the chat just pasting in uh Oh, typing that's great. in typing in the Japanese oh, for anybody. Oh, shout out to that guy. So, Chris anybody, Elias. I would recommend a website called www.jdic.com. Uh, it's a uh, run by a professor in New Zealand. It is a uh, wonderful. You go to the text glossing feature, you can just drop in this text as this person helpfully puts it in here and just click on you on to the text glossing and it will yank out all the vocabulary words uh-huh. as they come in. Also the mail only version of JDate. Yeah, oh, exactly. <laughs> Kaboom. Uh, um, all right. Ruka no something, something. That's Hatsume. Hatsume. Uh, oh, wait. That that one looks familiar. Okay, Isn't yes. Isn't that meat? Isn't that the kanji I was going to say, kanji for these, meat? Are, these are kanjis that I'm going to I'm gonna actually stress you remember these next. Okay. So the first two kanjis, Hatsume, that means invention. Okay. This one right here, you got to know this one. Do you know what that is? Y- yeah. Isn't that meat? Meat. Niko. Meat. Niko. Yeah, no, no. Oh, ne- neku. Meat. 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 Iku, mini iku, right? That's the, no, these kinds. I was saying meat, M-E-A-T, like in English. No, no, that's niku, no, that's... Isn't that's, that what that, that th- looks like? It I'm, looks, uh, I mean, it could look, <laughs> uh, one could squint and have some, have some, uh, if one... If no, you look, never mind, yeah. it's not what I was thinking of at all. Uh, so, so, okay, basically, the way to remember this one is how I remembered it as a child when I learned... Uh, when I, I studied Chinese when I was like nine because uh-huh. I'm, a, cause I'm, a, I'm a big boy, baby boy, and uh, my head was too big for my school. So uh, <laughs> that, that's, that's, that's the kanji for eye, like, eye. like eyeball, right? Okay. And you can kind of see that, right? It's just a little box with two little dashes in it, okay. right? And then underneath that, it looks like it's got feet, right? Yep. Yep. It's an eyeball with feet. What does that mean? Eyeball with feet. Eyeball with feet. I see, see. Yeah, see, see. seeing and looking. So me, me mas, me mas. Yeah, me mas, me do, me do, me mas. Me mas. And then me seru means. Me seru. It means to show. Okay. We're gonna get into se- so say verbs just me later. In its own, so it's now. So me, right now it's just me. me. So it's it's this is the verb stem. So me ni. Do you know what ni is? Yes. That's so a preposition two. for it too. Yeah. So me ni iku. Me, ni. You know what iku means, iku, right? Yeah, I go. I see. I so go. Yeah, that kanji. So those those two kanji are invaluable. You're going to use those. So I see. They are in the top 200 to, of kanjis wait, that so you'll need to know. What's the first part saying? Ruka. Ruka no Hatsume. No, hatsume. So, your so Hatsume friend, means invention. Okay. You're the, uh, so Ruka. Ruka, no, Ruka of inventions. Yeah. No, 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 no. Other way around. Inventor of Luka. No. Inventions of Luka. I got it. Okay. So, you do remember the story of this game, right? No, uh, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, Luca's invention. There's time travel, right? Okay, yeah, you so go. You, you go, go somewhere you go, in this so, game. And then see ni. So mini. Mini iku, iku means you go to see it. Exactly. Uh, Kaboom. Okay. So mini, mini iku. The show. The show. And what is that? Sha- shall we go see it? Shall Or, you go see it? Yeah, yeah. So the the show means. So that's uh, again. If there were a u on the end, mi ikun de, mini ikun the show. The show means like let's okay. go. Okay. But mini ikun the show means the show. you're you're gonna go you're do that, going. right? Okay, got so it. So you're gonna go see Luca's invention, right? An mari. An mari. Okay. Ko, oso, osoku, osoko, osoku nara. Nai, yo u ni ne. Anmari osoku nara nai yo ni ne. Yo ni ne. Okay, so osoku means late. Okay. Nara naru means become. Nara nai means don't become. Yo ni means to behave in a fashion. Wait, And what's the first word? Anmari, anmari is a uh, sort of a a, a more a morphation of the word amari, which means in excess. Mm-hmm. And an amari, uh, an mari is an just mari. Uh, more colloquial. Uh, so amari, as in other words, the word excess, 
Amari aru means I have something in excess. Amari nai means I do not have in excess. So she's saying, uh, do not be, do not behave in a fashion to become late by excess. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> so in other words, don't be very late. Yeah, don't be too late. Okay. Sa, Sa. iku, I. iku, no, i i de i de i tera tera shi shio shioi. I tera shai shai. Iterashite. So in uh when you leave a house, Shite. do you know that do you know the 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 house arrival word when you arrive home? Um, there's a word you yell at the top of oh your lungs. Oh man, I should know this, but I'm waking it. waking the children, scaring the dog. There's a word you yell. It's not Yoroshiku and a guy she must know. It's something else. I I, no, I that's, that's the word. this, but I forget it. <laughs> it's tadaima. Tadaima. Which means do you know what that means? It means right now. Right now. It just means right now. Okay. Um. So when you leave, you will say something like, "Oh," and then the the response to that is "Okaidi nasai" okay, or "Okaidi," which okay. means you have returned. You have returned. So you say right now, and then the other person says, "You have returned." <laughs> so when you leave, you say "Itte mai ni mas" or "Or itte kimas," which means so. So "Itte kimas" kimas means to come. Okay. And it. Iku means to go. to go. So itte means I go and I go and come and then come back. Come back. Right. See yeah. you so later. I, I, you know, so in other words, in Japanese, all present tense verbs are also future tense verbs. Uh -huh. So there's a lot of gray area. So iterashai just means iterashai. That's what the person on the other side of the itekimas says. Got so in other it. words, we're imagining that uh, she's saying that to preempt Kronos saying itekimas. Got it. She's oh, that's telling him. There's nothing like that. There's no equivalent to that in English, other than no. Like, see you later. But like, she's like, yeah. all so in English. Alrighty. What does she say? Alrighty, she's like, it. you better go on getting scoot on out of their trailer. Uh -huh. Except, uh, I don't think this was translated on the PlayStation One. <laughs> that was my joke about <laughs> the accents in Chrono Cross. And I believe we now have Chrono Access. Yeah, I I wasn't moving because I keep using the joystick on this Xbox controller, which doesn't actually work. Only the, the we will directional not, buttons. We work. will not allow for joystick. So how much NPC talking should we do? Like random NPC. Ah, talking? so so, hi, okozukai, uh, omatsuri uh, Just keep going. We're not going to translate all this. 200G. She's, she's like, here's your allowance. <laughs> Take your 200G. Okay, so we'll just focus on the main script. I would say. Is a good plan. So when right? you first played Chrono Trigger, were you disappointed that the 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 houses you never see the exteriors of the houses? Um, you just kind of walk up. I and did not give it much thought when I first played a lot of these NES games. I kind of just like I didn't think about them critically. I was like too young to think about them critically, so I just enjoyed them. And I think that's one of the reasons that like today I like and like those old school JRPGs uh, and still um, think fondly of them in a way that. I might think more critically of like a modern JRPG. I actually purchased this game for seventy nine ninety nine uh -huh. at Toys R Us because I was a big boy with a car and I could drive myself to Toys R Us, and uh, I bought it brand new on the night. Oh my God! Oh no! Yeah, yeah. Those kanji there are important to know as yeah, well. Yeah, what are the so woman? I recognize the second one is woman. Exactly, that's onna. Well, and the nah. first one is, uh, do you know that first one? Uh, young. So you, a guess. you can see the the top of it, right? Do you know what the the top yeah, part of that kanji is? Like that's, a barb. It's the word for small. Small. Oh, chisai. Yeah. So it's just shoujo. Shoujo. Which young means woman. young lady. Young lady. Young lady. Today, so I've been doing Wani Kani. And by the way, we should get into, maybe a little later, we'll get into the apps that I'm using. Oh, yeah, we should talk want, about apps. But I've been using Wani Kani, which is like a kanji, uh, uh, like spaced out repetition app. And I, I just started the free trial. And I was like poking around with it. And I was very amused to learn that like to, the there's a kanji for big and a kanji for man. And to say adult, you just say big man, which big, I found big. very interesting. <laughs> Yeah, big person. From Ultimate. now on, instead, of, oh yeah, sorry, big person. From now on, instead of saying uh, and saying adult, I'm just gonna say big person. Big person. And then shoujo just means uh, so that that kanji sho means like few. So like sukoshi sukana su, su, uh, sukanai uh, sho, it means few. So like few woman. So few a, woman. a woman of few. Okay. And then the the male equivalent. Do you know what the male equivalent is? If you have to guess. No. It's a word you might have heard before. It describes a genre of anime and manga. 
<laughs> I don't know. Shonen? Shonen, yeah. Shonen. Okay. You've heard Shonen. Okay, yes. so Shonen is the, the male equivalent. It just means few years. So Few years, okay. And so this shoujo is like the uh, the more modern word for woman of few years. Got it. So it's like the shonen somehow became, it, it became a male thing to be a few years at some point in Japanese history. So Ita. 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 And you see the little, that dash is sort of hard. To look yeah, at. I so I thought the dash was only used for katakana. No, that's that is a hiragana dash. That's a hiragana so you'll dash, notice it okay. has a you'll notice this one little pixel here. Yeah, there's one above the above like to the top left of the dash. Man, I got I got to get me a like a mouse so I can uh, John Madden draw on the screen. I'm going to yeah. I want to yeah. plug in a <laughs> We can do some so, football plays. So you can see the little uh, uh, uh the little uh, the, the little dot there. That that's the only differentiator in this Super Nintendo uh font to what, show so you that it's it a Ita. Ita. It means ow. Ow. Itai means it hurts. Ow. Oh, she's dusting her butt off. They they were very careful to animate that. Go. Go. Go menasai. Daijobu. She's speaking entirely Daijobu. in the, the kanjis and the, or the hiraganas and katakanas. I keep saying kanjis. Lord. Why is she speaking in, hi- well, in could, katakana and hiragana? She hasn't gotten around to a kanji yet. They're not on that basis. <laughs> so she's like, oh, sorry. Are you all right? Are you all right? We're going to give her a... a uh, ara? Ara? Pendanto ga. Pendanto. 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 So one fun activity I would suggest is once you uh, once you start really bonker loading... What? What? Uh, what? Once you start really... Sh- bonker loading? Bonker loading. Once you start really shredding the beef... I feel like I'm already bonker loading. Yeah, I don't know what this means. Once I feel you start like I'm always bonker loading. Every bonker single day loading. I'm bonker loading. Just keep bonker loading <laughs> and beef shredding. <laughs> I want a you- t-shirt that says, every day I'm bonker loading. <laughs> what about beef shredding? Once you-, you really start beef shredding on the katakana, <laughs> right? When you're shredding the roast beef on uh-huh. the katakana, uh-huh. one thing I started to do... Yeah. Is I was working at a Target store. I worked at the 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 service desk when I started studying hiragana and katakana. I didn't study Japanese, but I wanted to learn the alphabets. I learned that you can write any English word in katakana, and I just started writing uh-huh. by hand words in katakana and started pronouncing words in katakana. Right. So pendant is pendant. Right. Pendant. It's pendanto. Pendanto. Pendanto ga. Ga. Uh, she's like. Is that like my pendant? She's like, where's my pendant? So if you were to try to say that in katakana, you'd go, where's my pendanto? Pendanto. Right? So it's like uh, once you you have to learn how to break English words into that, and you need to learn to, like, embrace the, I mean, you need to learn to embrace, like, the hardcore accent. Huh. Right? Pendanto. 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 So when you, if you were to, if you were in Japan and you dropped a pendant uh-huh. on the street say, and you ask the passersby, you're like, like, uh, sumimasen, watashi no pendant, doko desu ka? <laughs> right? Pendant. What, watashi... Watashi, watashi no pendant, <laughs> mimasen deshita ka? Right? If you were to just pronounce it pendant, they wouldn't get it. <laughs> like, like their language is so nice and clean uh-huh. that if you just try to inject an English word, it's not always going to make sense. So you need to embrace the real thickness of the accent when you speak pendanto. the English words. So you would say pendanto. Pendanto ga. Where's my pendanto? So you need to like learn exactly how every English word is going to get rendered into Japanese because then you can fake a lot of English words. So what where is, is your pendant? What is ara again? Ara. It's just like a, a girlish way of beginning a sentence. Or if you're a really tough dude, like from Osaka, you can use it however it. much you want. Arigato. Thank Arigato. you. Arigato. Double exclamation point in the Japanese Arigato. fashion. We saw a lot of that in a Is that a big thing? Final Fantasy Seven. I scrutinized that a lot. Pendato watashi no yo. Oh, you got the watashi kanji without even stopping. That was good. Uh-huh. So watashi no yo. So that's uh watashi no means my my. So, sono pendanto watashi no. What does that mean? So, yeah, why would you say, isn't that reverse? Shouldn't it be watashi no pendanto? pendanto? Yeah. I, oh, yeah you're, yeah. you're getting into the colloquialism here. Yeah, this that's is good. interesting. Watashi no yo. Well, yo, I know, is a particle for, like, emphasis at the end of a sentence, right? That's um, mine. Yeah, that's mine. But why, yeah, is that a dialect to, like, reverse the to, to wata, pendanto watashi no? That's yeah. so interesting. I know. It's wild, isn't it? Yeah. So it's like, it's just, uh, she's, she's just talking like a young girl lady person. Well, it would be like in English if I was like, pendant mine. Pendant mine. Pendant mine. 
Um, okay. Oh, so that right there's the pendant to mine. Pendant's mine. Um, okay, oh. so uh, what's the next line? You want to read this? So line? that first kanji is furu. Furu. Not to be confused with the kanji Yoshi and Yoshinoya, uh, or in Yoshi. <laughs> Yoshi's it's, Island. It's a very similar. Oh, that's a different Yoshi. Okay. There's so many Yoshis. So many Yoshis. Yoshi is a. So uh, it's a furu, furu boketeru. Furu boketeru. Furu, furu boketeru. Furu boket means like old fashioned. I okay. Think. Okay. I, I, I mean, I'm winging it here. Okay. Uh, I'm, I believe I believe furuboke means old fashioned. Okay. Furuboke. Furuboke teru kedo. Kedo. Tottemo daiji na mono na no. Daiji na mono na no. Na no. Uh, it's quite old fashioned, but it's very precious to me. Huh. So there you go. Okay. We can, we can continue through this. Uh, Hi. Hi. Yeah. So she's definitely talking in like a girly Will fashion, which me? does not necessarily come across in Is that the saying English. Like buy, buy something? Will you buy Kae, something? Kae shiteru, kae means, Will you give it back? Will you give to it me? back? Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> We're going to go to jail. <laughs> oh, she just walks away. Arigato. Oh, wow. She just won't. I- Wait. She didn't say anything. Does this I affect? No. Does this, it does, I'm does, sure. Yeah. I'm sure it hurts my score. It doesn't affect the, for jail. the judges. Watashi um, o Matsuri. Matsuri. And what does that mean? Don't. The next one? Well, the next one is uh, is me, 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 me. There you go. Kaboom. So, see, we're learning some. Yeah, what's that? that ma- so, I just want to say, o- o- Matsuri means the festival. Oh, okay. So, O Matsuri is like a nice right. old fashioned. So, the O, you know what? You know about the O, right? Yes, it's the, the polite, the, polite the, prefix. The polite prefix. You're never, when your town is holding a party so big <laughs> that they call it a fair or a carnival. Or a festival, you've got to respect it by putting the o oh. in front of it. So this is a very old-fashioned, you know, stately Japanese word. Omatsuri is just what you omatsuri. call a festival. So there's a ri at the end of it. That's like a a little a little dangling hiragana that's not that can be included in the kanji. Huh. However, in this case, it's hanging out because that's the old way they would have done this. Interesting. Like hundreds of years ago, and they keep it real. Omatsuri. Omatsuri, the the festival. Mini something. Oh, so this is another mandatory kanji. Okay. Hit, so this lay is it on me. This is lie. My bonkers brain. Uh, lie in uh in Mandarin Chinese. Again, I'm lie. sorry. We're not going to be. Just, we're not learning Mandarin Chinese. We're not. Uh, this is this is the kanji for. Well, it's, it's the simplified uh Chinese character for, to come. To come. Iki. Yeah. So Iki. it's 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 kuru. Kuru. So, however, when it, it's kuru's past tense plain form. Or kuru's plain form, uh-huh. uh, it it it's is kuru, right? That kanji is pronounced ku, but every time it's conjugated, it becomes a ki, and it's weird because it's such a common word. Uh-huh. It has a million versatile little usages, but it's kuru by itself in its infinitive form. So uh, hopefully none of this grammar talk is going here, over. Right? Yeah, it here it is conjugated. So yeah, so it's ki. Ki. It's always ki when it's conjugated, but when it's infinitive, it's kuru. Okay, so, so mini ki kitanda. Mini kitanda. So what does that mean? Uh, so mini, so mini iku. What does that mean? You. What does mini iku mean? Mini iku. Yeah. What's the iku? We already, we already, we. It was what your mom said. Oh, okay. Mini iku means uh, come, come see this. No, right? it means no. no, no iku, iku, not kuru, iku. Uh, let's go see right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. It means it mean, mini iku means go to see. Go to see. Okay. Right. So so mini kuru means mini kuru come to means see. Come to see. So right. So mini kita means kita. Uh, come. Let's come now. Come. Ta. Oh, ta, 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 ta is past tense. Oh, uh, okay. So she says, "Watashi omatsuri mini Ki, kitanda." Kitanda. I, the festival, see, came. So I'm used to, so the verbs that I've been studying a little bit, like on apps and stuff, are pretty much all like, it would be kimashita. Can you get rid of the mas? Yeah. Mashita. Oh, yeah. So what we're dealing with here is plain form. Right. So okay. Lesson, so kimashita is polite form. Lesson number one to speaking uh, Japanese is don't use first person pronouns 90% of the time. Okay. Which she's lesson. using it. She's yeah, using she's one because she's, she's girly. She's it up for us. She's girly, right? So she's girly, and also she uh, she doesn't use it in the other two sentences, uh-huh. or she doesn't use it. the The final sentence she is first person, and she's not speaking. She doesn't use the pronoun. So, um, is, uh, lesson number two is the formal 
uh, the textbooks pretty much almost exclusively teach you formal verb endings, right. which is mashita. Right. Ikimas and uh, uh, ikimashita. Ikimashita. Those, those are uh, I will go or I'm going or I go. Okay. And, and then, I went. So the plain form. I'm going to see the festival. Is that so, what Yeah. Saying? So the plain form is the simple one. That's iku. I was going to see the festival. Ita. Ita. Instead of ikimashita, ikimashita becomes ita. Ita. And then what's uh, that? And kimashita uh, becomes kita. So there is a, I don't want to say it's complex, but not complicated. There's a formula for determining. It's very, it's a very simple formula for determining the plain version of a formal verb. And it's a, we can get into that later, (laughs) but it's a, but so it's like kimashita becomes kita. Kita. Mimashita becomes mita. Okay. Right. Tabemashita becomes tabeta. Okay. So this is, uh, someone is asking, do I know the Te form song, Pedro the Dagger? Oh, that's Nathaniel. Shout out to Nathaniel. Yeah. How you doing, first of all? And that's first first question is, how are you doing? Second of all, no, I do not know the song. I learned Japanese by slamming my head repeatedly into a television and uh-huh. a book. Uh-huh. Unfortunately. That's what I'm doing, except with you and a video game. Yeah, yeah. I had a friend who, uh, uh, I, I, I was living in Japan when I learned Japanese, so that actually helps sort of a lot. So, wait, I don't know. What's the yeah. n- n- da at the end? Nda. 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 Oh, my God. What's the, oh, I remember, uh, I remember wondering what that was myself, except it was hearing people say it until I just started saying it. <laughs> um, so, it's just hearing people say, mini kitanda. Uh, da, are you ready for this? Uh-huh. Is the ultimate plain form of des. Okay. Right. Which means so of course, des is the to be is the is to be or... verb. So there's also the form, the the plain plain form is actually dearu. 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 Right. Dearu. So uh, but da is colloquial. It's like ultra colloquial plain form. Okay. So minikitan da. Uh, it is the case that. Is how it gets like formally translated, like how it gets like textbooky, so, like like mini kitanda. It is the case that I came I, to see, see the festival. See the festival. That's right. Wow, convoluted. Okay. Yeah. So if a computer were translating it, it would actually make it sound like God darn data were saying it, when really it should sound like Riker is saying it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So it's like I came to see the festival. It is the case that I came to see the festival. Got it. So okay. it's like it's grammatically like when you. Like long handed out, it becomes uh really technical. However, in usage it is super chill. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could go on about all this. So Mini Kitanda, I came to see the festival. Nah girly way of saying, Hey. Hey. Or is it? Let's find out. Anata Konomachi no hito desho. Konomachi Konomachi no hito desho. Uh, kono, you know kono, this. This. Uh, you know, Machi. anata, right? What is anata? You. You. Anata, you, kono machi, this, do you know machi? Is that the same as, no. Is that festival? Is that what you're saying? No, machi, about? machi is city. City, okay. So machi In- is that, that kanji with the fi- the thing, the, the field. Right. You see the little window? That, uh-huh. that's the kanji for field. And then the one to the right of it is a. It's a, a kanji radical denoting uh, civic structures and such. Okay. Uh, we can get into that one a little later. <laughs> so uh, later you on. should, uh, everybody study your kanji radicals. So machi, okay. Because every kanji is made up out of little pieces. Anata so. kono machi, kono machi no jin hito. Hito. Hito de, hito de sho. Yeah, so that's jin, it's jin or hito, but it's uh, hito usually by itself. So kono machi no hito de sho. You are a, what is, what does hito mean? Uh, like a person of this city or yeah. that are living in the city? There you go. Hey, you're a person of this city. You are a person of this city, are you not? So how come you don't put ka? I thought you put ka on the end of, like, if you're asking a question. Uh, So the little shortened disho, uh-huh. uh, the blonde ponytail, the ne, <laughs> uh-huh. those are supposed to communicate to us that she's speaking in, like, a girly fashion. Ne, you're kono the city. Right. You're from the city. She's saying, so he's like, "Oh, you're from, you're from here, aren't you?" Got it. Okay. Uh, so, uh, the actual the PlayStation One translation would be, "Hey, you're from around here, right?" So, do cowboy. They, so you drop the ka if you're like speaking in that tone, you would drop. Yeah, yeah, because she's a teenage girl. Got it. And okay. teen girls, 
make the rules on this planet. Okay. In every planet. So, <laughs> uh, so Hito. Hito. So you know this next this Hito. next one, right? That's the the, the you know you know what, Ichi. Ichi. Oh, it's Ichi Ichi Hito. So one, Ichi Hito. One how do you pronounce that though? In Ichi Japanese, Hito? I don't know. It's a, it's another. So it's funny. It's funny that there are very few exceptions to this stuff in Japanese, uh-huh. and they're all for the most common stuff, which reeks of antiquity. Mm. So in other words, the old Japanese word for alone is hitori. Hitori. And that's how they decide to pronounce this oh, combination of ichi hito, ichi bito, okay. right? Hitori ja something something. Ichi nin. Ichi nin. Yeah, hi, yeah. So, but it's pronounced hitori. Hitori. And also, uh, hitori. When you are pronouncing hitori. he's in Japanese, you want to really get into it. Uh, hitori. I'm gonna. The homework I'm gonna let you know uh-huh. here uh-huh. is you gotta. I I hate to say this. You gotta watch some anime. Oh no, no. And that is one homework that I am not going to do. And you've got to repeat their words as they talk. Just sit there and talk to you. It's how I learned Russian. Tim. Okay. Tim, let me let me just say something. I will do a lot of things <laughs> for this job. <laughs> watching anime is not one of them. What about watching Japanese TV dramas? Uh, that I'll do. Is okay, there anything I can, good? Should I watch like I'll, Terrace House? Terrace House. You know, I don't like the microphones are too hot on Terrace House. You can hear their mm. their saliva. Um, mm. So yeah, Terrace House would work. Yeah. So you're you're gonna hear people really breathe on that he, right? Uh huh. So this is like the difference between textbooky Japanese class and uh, and like an actual native speaker. Kono machi no kono machi no hito kono desho. Kono machi no hito desho. Kono machi no hito. Like a Japanese person would go kono machi no hito desho. Kono machi no hito desho. Kono machi no hito desho. Not kono machi no hito. Kono machi no hito. Hito. Kono machi no hito. Hito. No hito. Hito. So instead hito. of hito, it's hito. 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 So hitori ja omoshiro kunai mo. Uh, hitori. That would be hitori ja. Hitori ja omoshiro kunai mo. Mon. Hitori ja omoshiro kunai mon. I've actually never casually ended a sentence with mon because mon. because I don't. Uh, I, I don't talk like a teenage girl. So mm. that's that's just a, a girlish way of ending a sentence. So what's that? What does that sentence mean? It's, just, it's, it's, not, it, it's it is not interesting okay. when one is alone. Isho ni mawaro yo. Ii desho? Ne. Ne. Let's walk around together. Would be good. Yes, yes. Would be good. Yes, yes. And you can say hi. 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 Oh, straight up said yes. Hi. Why? Why? Yatta. She's so happy. Yatta. Yay. So I, why? I remember. You know how I know the word yatta? What? How do you know the word yatta? From that meme video from like 2004 uh, where you had the five Japanese singers going yatta, yatta. You know that? You know I do I do not know no memes. How do you not know that? Okay, I you ain't gotta watch, no memes. You got to watch the video. Yatta. yatta. In 2004, I was... Uh, I'm not going to lie. In 2004, I was hot. I was 25 years old. Uh-huh. I was living in Tokyo. I was in four bands. Uh-huh. Two of the members of those bands are dead now. That's uh, sad. Yeah, actually. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was sleeping on a futon on. I found in the garbage. I had a paper curtain. Let's, let's try to get through. Like We're already an hour in, so let's try to do a couple <laughs> more lines. Yeah, this is good. Ah, namai something. Namai itte na katta ne. What's that oh. third kanji after namai? Okay, it's another essential kanji. Uh-huh. Um, that's the kanji iu, which means to say. Also in the word kotoba, okay. which means words. So do you know what this kanji is? So do you see at the very bottom? The bottom of that kanji? A mouth. The little box? That's a mouth, mm-hmm. right? So that is a mouth. And what is above the mouth? Two. It's a bunch of stuff. A bunch four, of stuff. Four lines, right? A hat. Imagine yeah. it like a God darn Kandinsky would uh-huh. be proud uh-huh. of this because it's sound waves coming out of a mouth. That's the kanji for word, Got it. speak, talk. I'm going to think of it as like, have you ever played Day of the Tentacle? Uh, yeah, I played Day of the it Tentacle. It kind of looks like one of the tentacles just like looking at you and like it's about to speak, and so it's it's. Sad. Maybe that's where they they got it from. Yeah. Namai I have n- I am not saying my name yet, okay. or I am not saying my name. Yeah. Eh, eh, to, uh, Wait, it's it's I'm not saying, or I haven't said my name. Or I haven't said my name. I well, said my name. I'm 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 giving you the ultra literal translation so you can understand got where it. Got it. where Japanese grammar works. Got so it. it's like I am not saying my name yet. So. 
there's a lot of progressives that are used uh, in Japanese. They use progressive form verbs a lot. And I mean, we'll get into that a lot more later, but it's a, uh, I haven't said my name yet is I am not saying my name. Okay. Right? Because eh, eh. aspect, verbal aspect is just like wild off the charts in Japanese. It doesn't work the way it does in, for example, Russian or English. Anyway, she says, eh, 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 eh to. Watashi wa. Eh, to is like, uh, my name is. Because now she doesn't actually know her name because she's making up a fake name here. Right? That's Ma why she hesitates. Mari. Mar. Mar. Her name is Mar. Mar. So, um, if you ever played the game and you see that it's written M A R L E, uh, Marley. Yeah, I always you, pronounce it Marley. It turns out it's actually Maru. Mar it's actually Marl. Marl. Her name is Marl. No, but isn't that's that a, a Ru? Ru? Yeah, that's a Ru. But uh, so where did you get the L from? Uh, that's that's a good question. So, um, this is since it's spelled in katakana, they're all meant to have sort of uh, Anglo-ish names, uh -huh. right? So mar maru so ah uh, is like an r sound. Uh -huh. So like uh like carl would be car. 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 So again, this is where it really becomes important to learn learn that god darn uh what do you call it? That accent. That Just accent. the way the way the Japanese accent would render there are ways to do it that are not uh, stereotyping or racist, by the way, in uh -huh. case anyone's wondering. Just imagine the way a Japanese person would read an English word in a super thick Japanese accent. So, like, Carl becomes cod. I don't think I, I don't think it's, like, to try to emulate someone's accent when you're not doing it in a mocking way, but you're actually doing it to try to yeah. learn. I don't think that's, that can it's, be racist it's, it's, at all. It's not, but, I mean, I, I just I, I mentioned this because I have told people before uh -huh. if you're going to learn chinese you have to just watch kung fu movies yeah and really hit those words really hard that makes sense like you have to talk exactly like those dudes in the show and you're going to feel stupid and like a cartoon character when you do it but you got to do it as long as it's for language learning purposes and not mocking uh you got to do it okay so maru maru te maru te you no te you no I say Marl, uh, which means I'm called Marl, or my name is Marl. So, to so literally, I say, I say Marl. Yeah, Marl, te you know. So, te, te, or to is how you say a person says something. Like, uh, so we've already used the word uh, ikimashita. So, ikimashita, ikimashita, to itta, right, means I, or he went, he said. He said he went. Ikimashita to itta. Interesting. You said you went. Anata wa, and yours is... And you are... Kuro no ka. Kuro no ka. Kuro no ka. Ii namai, namai de, de ne. Da. Da ne. Ii namai da ne. Da ma, namai da That's ne. a good name. Yoroshiku ne kuro no. Yoroshiku kuro no. Yoroshiku ne kuro no. Yor... Yoroshiku ne kuro no. Kuro no. Kuro no. Kuro no. Kuro no. Sa something. Sa. Hayaku. Hayaku. That's another uh, one of the 200 kanji that you would want to learn first as mean? well. Uh, hayaku just means fast, quickly. Hayaku. Hayaku, hayaku iko. Iko. Come on, let's Come go. Come on, let's go. Quickly, let us go. Okay, so not, we She's should, not saying let's mosey. So we should wrap this up. Um, yeah. Since we've been going for an hour plus. So yeah, I, I had hoped we would get, uh, <laughs> we would past. time travel. Um, can we leave? Yes, we can. Okay, good. So we're yeah, she'll save. party. She'll party so down. So before we you. say goodbye, um, oh, at some point we have to go through all the menus. <laughs> hey, look at that! Exactly one hour. Did you have a timer? Um, no. Look at that. But I was looking at the clock. It's exactly um, an so hour. So before we go, actually, I want to talk a little bit about the apps because I know a lot of people who oh, are listening yeah. to this might be wondering. Yeah. Like, so people are always asking me. What apps? What Japanese apps it's they a should good learn? Question. So it, is, actually, it is a good question, but I don't know. So I've tried a bunch of so, them by now. Um, and I have a few recommendations. So I played with Duolingo. That's like the most famous one. And yeah. I actually don't like that because Duolingo, the way it works is it's just a bunch of matching and stuff. And it doesn't actually like teach you things. It kind of teaches you by like you just figuring it out as you go. And I found that like it didn't actually help me in a, in a meaningful way understand what I was doing. Although it was useful for like learning uh, the letters and stuff like that. Um, the apps that I have actually enjoyed are a couple. So one of them is called Mirai Japanese, M-I-R-A-I. Mirai. Mirai. 
And that is really, really useful when it comes to um, just like giving you structured lessons that are like um, just taught in a really pleasing and, and interesting and, and satisfying way. Um, so I downloaded that. That is free, I think, for like at least the first 20 lessons. I haven't paid for it yet. And then also there's an app called Human Japanese that I have paid for. Human and really, Japanese. really like it. It's actually really good. Um, the only downside is that like it doesn't actually use kanji until it gets to like the 50 something lesson. So that's been annoying. So actually I've been using that and then supplementing it with kanji like the I just downloaded or just started using Wani Kani for Kanji. So Wani that's Kani. what I've been doing. So uh, between those and Chrono Trigger with Tim Rogers, I'm yeah. sure I will learn Japanese in no and time. And also you've got to watch some sort of long form series. Okay. Uh, whether it's an anime or not. You know, not all animes are about martial arts or superheroes or whatever. There are a couple Tim, that are just about Tim, people. Okay, let me tell you a story, and then we'll end this. Yeah, on. let's let's hear why you hate anime. So, no, this is not why I hate anime. I've just never actually watched anime. But, like, I was looking at uh, Reddit. I discovered the Reddit for Learn Japanese when I was, like, embarking on this journey. And it's really good. It's really enjoyable. Um, and so I saw someone asking in there just the other day, hey, what are the Japanese equivalents of The Sopranos, of Breaking Bad, of the all-time <laughs> greats in American TV? And the first response was like some name I hadn't heard of. And then the response to that was, isn't that about a guy who goes and teaches at a high school so he can meet girls? And I was like, that I read that and I was like, that's their equivalent. That's the Japanese equivalent of The Sopranos is about a guy who goes to Teach at high school, school to which, meet girls. Which is that an anime? I don't know. I gotta find it here. Let me look um, and, and so, see if I can find it. I mean, you're not gonna find the Sopranos uh, of Japan, but you'll find some good stuff, some tasty stuff. Um, recently, the game Judgment came out. The Sega game yes. Judgment. Yeah, GTO. Oh, here it, it is. is GTO. Okay. It is GTO. Great, great teacher Onizuka. Great teacher Onizuka. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I know GTO. Oh, wait. Here's. I'm reading uh, this from Reddit. One. Okay. Reddit question. Doesn't the main character become a teacher to hook up with schoolgirls? And then someone responds to him. No. He became a teacher to hook up with high school girls, not just any schoolgirl. Which is why. <laughs> which is why when he becomes a teacher in a middle school full of middle school girls, he doesn't have any interest in them. Seriously, uh... that's the plot. <laughs> yeah, that would be a really funny. Uh, yeah, somebody says, uh, "Hi, Bane Renme." No, no, you, you want if you, okay. I'm not saying you should watch an anime. If you did, though, you should watch one that's like about people, not one that's about, uh, uh, you know, monsters. And I think I'll try. Whatever. I'll try either playing some yakuza. Although I, I did try like watching some yakuza on YouTube, but it was it's their I, accents and their speed of talking. I would recommend the game Judgment. Judgment. Okay. I would recommend that. I would also there's a. Uh, Judgment is uh, the main character is played by Kimura Takuya, who was in some dramas, uh -huh. a drama called Hero, which I think is on Netflix right now. Hero. Uh, Hero, which is about a... Cool. He's a lawyer. Okay, on that note, let's say goodbye, and we will be back next week. Oh, yeah. Uh, hopefully with fewer technical difficulties. Hopefully oh. we can start at 4 p.m. next the week. Setup, the setup is solid now. Okay, cool. And we might even have a little bit more. You'll notice yes. this uh, interesting moving background... Uh, what if uh, that is indicative of my dedication to actually getting some action going on on the screen Ooh. while we, uh, a dictionary of a sort, maybe? Ooh, exciting stuff. All yeah. right, have a good weekend, everybody, and we'll see you next week. See you next time. <laughs>